um, this morning, I think four or five people kicked in the front door and kicked in the grills and broken, smashed all our glass again and went through all our cabinets and did more damage actually this time and store more. Um, yeah. It's a small business and we all run it together. We put our heart and soul into it. It upsets the team and we've got fantastic customers. They get really upset about it too. So they're very angry and want to do something about it. I'm really sick of doing the cleaning <laughs> myself. Um, but it's, I think I'm more frustrated with it happening almost every day and then like nothing happening. Yeah like nothing coming of it. No, having, um, having no support from the government at all. So we were ram raided a month ago. Last week, our Rickerton store was smashed into as well. And then this week, this store and um, like ram raid support, victim support have just said, oh, they're really busy. We're on the list. We'll be there in a few weeks. Um, and it's like, it's too late. It's, we've been broken into again. A few weeks, it's too late. In this particular store, was ram raided only recently by 12 youths. Yeah. Explain what happened then and the reaction from police and the response. Um, so they, the car came in a few times and 12 people slid in. It did kind of look like it was a training exercise, so a few of them looked really nervous and just grabbed a handful and ran out. Um, the cops attended, but they said, oh, we know who they are. They've been... It's the same group that's been doing it for the last year, but they're young, they'll be 15 this year, they can't do anything about it. Um, and since then we haven't heard from the police or ab about what's happened or anything, to be honest. Not, not a word. What goes through your mind knowing that you haven't had any response from authorities since the last attack where 12 people entered this store yeah. illegally and caused thousands of dollars worth of damage. What, what, I understand the police feel frustrated that they can't do anything because they're underaged, but there must be, it's, it's become like a pandemic. It's happening every weekend, now it's happening during the week. Something needs to be done. Police need to be given like more authority to take them off the streets or uh, uh, yeah, do something that's actually going to stop this behaviour because whatever's happening right now is not stopping it, obviously. What is your message, I think, for the parents of these kids? It's difficult because you all have different family situations. So I can understand for some parents it's frustrating and they can't really... Uh, I, mean, I To be honest, I don't know. I think... By the stage it reaches this, it's not just nicking little things from here and there. This is where the criminal justice system needs to actually step in. And it's no longer just a slap on the wrist. It's, this is a severe crime.